Okay, so here we go. We're at the bottom of the zipper. I'm gonna hand wheel across the zipper just to make sure that I don't bust a needle. Sometimes you do bust a needle. It's just kind of the nature of sewing across zippers. So especially if you're using a metal zipper, not a coil zipper, the chances of your busting the zipper are much higher. Once I've got past the needle or past the zipper, I'm just gonna check and make sure that as I continue to stitch that I'm going to miss my zipper shield. I'm gonna use my pivot skills as I'm going on this corner, one stitch and then I pivot, one stitch and then I pivot so I can get a nice curve. Making sure I'm not sewing through that bottom. And my first row of top stitching is complete. On the back side, you can see that my zipper shield is free. My zipper extension is caught. Top of my pocket is caught. And now I'm ready for that second row of top stitching. Because I've already sewn over the bottom once, at this point I can shorten my zipper if necessary, I'm going to just clip it off. Your stitching creates a stop, so there's no need to put in an additional stop or a metal stop at the bottom because you've already done it with stitching. I unthreaded my needle, so sorry about that. So I'm just gonna make sure everything is flat and even and I'm gonna start the second row of top stitching. Once again, I'm gonna hand wheel across the bottom of the zipper. Use some pivots down in the bottom. It's a pretty sharp curve especially in half scale. It's much sharper in half scale than it is in full scale. And my zipper top stitching is finished.